Welcome back guys on my YouTube channel. Today I'm finally here to bring you the Tenere Rebel X Tower Kit tutorial video. This product uh, didn't come out yet, but some riders actually have it and some factory riders already riding with it. For example, Rod Fagotter in, uh, in Australia is using it. Today I'll teach you how to install the different modules because you have the chance to put only the tower and keep the whole OEM windshield. You can put the tower and our one piece windshield or you can do the full change and put the lightweight LED headlight which removes about 2.5 kilograms. Also, if you want to run a tablet, a GPS, depending on uh, or a road book, you'll have the possibility as this system is modular. Furthermore, you see this bike, it's a work in progress. We are working on several really cool bike builds. But with no further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To be quick, I already removed some bolts. First step, you want to remove the windshield and these side deflectors. Side deflectors, bolts are already removed. A quick tip and advice, not necessary, but you should remove these uh, side fairing panels because underneath here you have the plugs, for example, of the power outlet that maybe you want to swap with the device you're going to put on. So just to make it simpler, take these down. Once you disconnect the turn indicator here, you'll see there is a plug that is unused and wrapped in tape. This plug, you can use it to attach instruments such as GPS and so on. And so, yeah, it, it's nice to have it here because then you can run any wire up to the tower. Now you see that without the side panels, you have much more access because we'll have to remove the OEM assembly, which is right in there. There are two bolts, but also for any other thing, it will be easier. We need to remove for now the crossbar. Other than the crossbar that you want to remove the bolt on one side so you can flex these out when we'll have to take out the headlight. Also remove this bolt because this will be used for the hex bars on the tower that will give more stability and avoid vibration on the tower. We will have to move the dashboard. For this reason, remove these two bolts and we'll start disassembling the dashboard to place it on the handlebar. Slide up the plastic, remove the rubber, and remove the connector. Once you detach all the bolts that are connecting this plastic frame to the light, and you can push out this, you're ready to remove the OEM tower with a 12 millimeter key. You remove two nuts. You just need this key. Disconnect the power outlet connector and the headlight connector. Once you remove the two bolts, the whole assembly will slide out. Once you remove it, you'll understand how much the OEM headlight weighs and probably you want to switch to the lightweight one. Now you remove the headlight assembly, you will want the dashboard connector to make it go back behind the forks cause we'll move it up here on the handlebar. I already changed the bar riser. This is the handlebar GPS riser by Rebel X that lets you put a Garmin mount, Trail Tech Voyager Pro, Quad Lock, uh, ERTF for racing and so on. It's already on. I won't put all the bolts to show you. This is the dashboard relocator. You'll put the bracket with these M8 times 12 uh, bolts. For the purpose of the video, I won't put Loctite, but a tiny bit of Loctite is better if you put it on these bolts. Now we're ready to start placing the tower assembly. Slide it in the place where the OEM tower assembly was and put in the bolts. Slide in the bolts and then put the nut. You can now already tighten nut and bolt. Even here, if you want, put a tiny bit of Loctite. Now I'll show you how to install these crossbars because these help uh, 
give stability to the whole tower and very fundamental. They are a hex bar, but on one side it's flat, on one side it's at an angle. The side that is at an angle goes on the tower in order for the bar to be slightly bent in order to match the side plastic and give the whole assembly a good rigidity. When you're almost aligned and the bend is like this, so going towards the back, just keep it in place, tighten the bolt, get your 12 millimeter spanner, hold the bar into place and start tightening the bolt. Once you place the bars, don't mount yet the outer bolt because you'll need this loose to slide in the OEM headlight if you go with the OEM headlight option. Now we're ready to bolt on the upper part of the tower. Here you have this bracket with a hole. It's for the on off uh, LED switch that you have uh, in the box. This you can remove, make your connections and then bolt it back in, but it comes pre-assembled with the tower. Slightly pull together the tower body, make the lower part go first, then the upper, align the holes and you're ready to put the four bolts. You will want to remove this back plastic with the tower on. Now you're ready to install these brackets. These are the headlight brackets that let you put the headlight on the tower. There is one bracket that is slightly different and this is for the fuse box. It goes on the left-hand side of the, the tower. These longer ones go on top and the shorter ones on the bottom. We'll use the OEM bolts adding a washer. Don't tighten it too much because anyway it's on rubbers but also because we might need to loosen it in order to align everything on the tower and then put the bolts through. Once you installed also the upper part you're ready to slide in the assembled headlight make it go through. You see this hole is slotted it's adjustable push it all the way back but since this plastic assembly has a bit of tolerance especially if you already crashed the bike and so on this is the reason for having this slotted hole. Do the same on the bottom. Be sure then to put this connector through the plastic so that after you can plug it back in. Once you installed and tightened these two bolts, you can install the fuse box. With this fuse box, you'll be able to connect up to four power leads by running only one unique power lead to the battery or from one of the side connectors. Then depending on what device you want to mount, here we have the carpet eater uh, or tablet uh, mount. If you will want to place here instead a Garmin GPS, you will need two of these brackets and place one on top of the other, but I will show you later. Get this bracket and with these clamps, you put the countersunk bolts. Don't tighten them completely yet. Just put them in and slightly tighten them so that there is a bit of play. Once you place everything together, keep in mind these holes are made so if eventually you want to add another device, you have space to make your custom bracket or add anything if it's a clock or whatever. The same way we'll do if you get the roadbook option. You always have these two clamps. We'll put them in place and uh, put the bolts through. Consider here you have also the space for two speedo caps or two trip masters or one trip master and speedo cap. Uh, same as before, don't tighten it completely. We will tighten it only once it's on the bike. One important thing to mention is this roadbook bracket and this kit is specific for this roadbook, which is the roadbook uh, used also by the factory Yamaha team on the factory bikes I built for Tarres and Botturi. So you will have the same exact set up. It does not work with any other roadbooks, meaning that once you have the tower on, you'll be almost a factory rider. Now you're ready to place the tablet bracket here on top. Just uh, slide it on and make the bolts go through and then washer and nut and you're done. Here you have the chance to adjust, same will go with the roadbook. Clearly, to keep the OEM uh, distances and fairing, you don't have a lot of space, but this is good because the masses are very close to the handlebar comparing to much longer towers where 
the further you bring on the weight, the more unbalanced the bike will feel on the front end. So here, everything is very centralized and you have a possibility to give an adjustment. We also have a different bracket for tablets where you can put a tablet, but also two trip masters. Giacomo will show you from my bike from the Sardinia Legend Rally. I think that is the ideal setup. I wouldn't go only with a tablet to a rally. I would go with a tablet and two trip masters because I think it makes it clearer and you can use the whole screen to show the road book. Here on the tower, as mentioned before, you have this bracket for the on off switch. This is an LED switch. So when it's turned on, you will see the LED light. Do all your connections once you place tablet or GPS and then there is a small tab on one side and the hole. Align the tab with the, where it's on the bracket and just push it in and it's done. Now we need to place the dashboard on the relocator bracket. We will have to remove the screws and the rubbers. The same you will do with the newer Tenere models or Tenere World Raid where the dashboard is different. This was the analogic one. Uh, the newer one has a lot more functionality. The same, just the handlebar bracket slightly changes. This is the temperature sensor that also we will have to remove from the OEM bracket and place here. Then these two holes are so that you can place it with the zip ties. We connect the dashboard, bring up the rubber, and now we are ready to place uh, the dashboard into the rubber grommets. You will need a short screwdriver in order to be able to put the screws back in. Here you have the bolt to remove the temperature sensor. It's now time to close everything. So to put back in place the crossbar and to mount the plastic to the side hex bars. Once everything is closed, we will put back the OEM windshield or the Rebel X Sports one piece windshield and we will be ready to ride. Now you can see how nicely fixed the tower is. Once the whole tower is fixed, your vibration on your device will be only a long past memory. Cause look, I can move the whole bike from how fixed now the tower is, especially thanks to the hex bars that go from one side to the other. You can move the whole bike and have everything in place. Once everything is fixed, it's time to reconnect the headlight connector if you are keeping the OEM headlight. If you wired any GPS, you will have used this plug. Reconnect the turn indicator and place the panel back on. The installation of the first version of the Rebel X Rally Kit is finished. Time to put back on the OEM windshield. A small tip that Personally, I do. These uh, rubber mounts have M4 bolts. In my opinion, if you do very, very hardcore uh, off-road and jumps, motocross track or whatever, they could be a bit small. So I prefer to modify rather than putting the OEM ones. I remove this bracket and I change on the carpenter bracket. I put M5 ones. This will require me to drill slightly bigger holes. But now I'll show you. Done, completed, go ride. But let's say you wanna be uh, more of a rally rider and you want a one piece windshield so that it can be easy to remove, access the wires and so on. And also you want to give an added protection to this very expensive headlight because this headlight is about 800 euros if you break it and being a full assembly, if you break one light or the screen, you have to change the whole headlight. So you can put this one piece windshield and add two section of plexiglass and this will protect your light. Very easy and quick. Just remove the transparent plastics and with two holes, we will place this one piece windshield. This one piece windshield furthermore is made in fiber. So even if you crash, you'll be able to repair it and it won't crack like the transparent plexiglass. A quick tip inside the one piece windshield, I add some rubber so that 
with vibration it won't scratch the OEM headlight. Thanks to these tabs that you see here, like the OEM side panels, you will need only to drill two holes. This means it's gonna be super quick to remove it and put it on the bike. Second version of the kit ready, you have a real rally racing look. On this part, we put a self-locking nut and it just stays in there. So you don't need two keys to tighten it. You'll just put the bolt through. But first, let's put it across the crossbar. You can choose the position where to put it, but just check with the steering that you put it in a place where it won't interfere with the steering. It won't in any place, but just put it in a comfortable position for you then to plug in your devices. Let's say you went for the full rally kit with the lightweight LED light. At this step of the installation, you will get your light. Install first the rear bracket on the light and then these three brackets simply with the nut and bolt. Tighten them slightly so that they don't flip around and they're a bit stable. And then you see I can adjust it because we'll tighten these only once we also put the fairing on and after you'll see why. In this step with this kit, you'll also get a USB port and voltmeter display. And this is on a 3D printed part that will go on the hex bars and then that you'll tighten. But now I'll show you in detail. These brackets go on the inside of the headlight bracket and the long bracket goes on the right hand side of the light. Slide in the headlight assembly and pull the first bolt in. In case you want the headlight to come more forward in order to have less gap on the windshield, you can also use the second hole and put it in this way. In this way, the headlight will be much more forward and sticking out of the windshield. Since we want to give a bit more adjustment, this bracket that you see now in this video will be changed because we will add an extra hole and make it a bit longer so that there will be less gap with the windshield. The lower bracket you put in this position on the threaded insert with an M5 bolt. You tighten. On this headlight, you have different adjustments. You can bring it up and backwards, but also here you see the slotted hole. You can push this backwards or forward and everything can be positioned how you want so that you have the beam of the light, uh, putting light where you want it to be. Once you fixed all the bolts, slightly tightening them so that we can move and adjust. You see the headlight. We will place the one piece uh, windshield you slide it in, be sure the tabs go inside. And once it's in position, you'll be able to adjust the headlight how you want. Once you've done that, you tighten all the bolts. Before doing this, remember, don't forget to fix the hex uh, crossbars, because then if not, you won't be able to do it. And uh, put the light in the position you want, and you'll have to drill only two holes in correspondence of the rubber grommets to put the two screws. I won't show you that because it's pretty easy. You just need to mark either with a pen or with a screwdriver from behind where you want to drill the hole and then you drill the hole and that's easy. Okay guys, now you see also a very cool hack. This is how your lights get wired when you make uh, a mio cugino do the job. But <laughs> jokes aside, is uh, we wanted only for the purpose of the video to quickly connect it without having to turn on the bike. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, that it was helpful. If you're planning to get this kit, is available at Rebel Exports. It will be uploaded, I think, in uh, the next week. The tower is totally modular, so you can put the roadbook or the tablet or the GPS and whatever. Pretty easy installation, different configurations. Let me know in the comments below what you think. This is what I personally ride with, as you've seen back in the days when I was riding the Sardinia Legend Rally. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao.